Today's lecture will cover mesenteric lymphadenitis, an inflammation of lymph nodes in the gastrointestinal system. We'll explore its causes, symptoms, diagnosis, and treatment, highlighting its similarity to other abdominal conditions. Understanding this condition is crucial for accurate diagnosis and management. Let us begin by examining the anatomy and function of the mesentery. The mesentery is a double-layered fold of peritoneum that connects the abdominal wall to the intestine. It acts as a supporting structure, anchoring the intestine and other abdominal organs in their proper positions. Additionally, the mesentery contains blood vessels, lymphatics, and nerves that supply the intestines, facilitating their vital physiological functions. Understanding the structure and role of the mesentery is crucial to comprehend the pathogenesis of mesenteric lymphadenitis. In this section, we will explore the lymphatic system and how lymph nodes contribute to immune function and disease. The lymphatic system helps maintain fluid balance, absorb fats, and filter out harmful substances and pathogens. Lymph nodes, including those in the mesentery, act as filtering stations where immune cells reside and mount responses against invaders. If lymph nodes become inflamed or dysfunctional, it can result in mesenteric lymphadenitis. Moving on, let us investigate the possible causes and underlying mechanisms that contribute to the development of mesenteric lymphadenitis. While the etiology of mesenteric lymphadenitis is often multifactorial, it is commonly associated with viral or bacterial infections. Viruses such as adenovirus or Epstein-Barr virus, as well as bacteria like Yersinia enterocolitica or Campylobacter jejuni, have been implicated as causative agents. The exact pathogenesis involves the invasion of these pathogens into the mesenteric lymph nodes, triggering an inflammatory cascade and subsequent enlargement. Next, we'll discuss the typical signs and symptoms of mesenteric lymphadenitis and how to differentiate it from other conditions. Patients with mesenteric lymphadenitis often present with abdominal pain, which may be localized or diffuse. This pain is commonly associated with tenderness upon palpation and may be accompanied by low-grade fever, nausea, and vomiting. Differential diagnosis is crucial, as these symptoms can overlap with other abdominal pathologies such as appendicitis or inflammatory bowel disease. A thorough clinical assessment and appropriate diagnostic investigations are necessary to reach an accurate diagnosis. In the section on radiological imaging modalities for mesenteric lymphadenitis, we will explore ultrasound, CT scan, and MRI. These imaging techniques allow us to visualize and assess the extent of inflammation in the mesenteric lymph nodes. Ultrasound is commonly used first due to its non-invasive nature, while CT and MRI provide more detailed anatomical information. It is essential to understand the advantages and limitations of each modality for effective patient management. In the video, we will discuss the laboratory tests used to diagnose and monitor mesenteric lymphadenitis. These tests include complete blood count, CBC, which measures white blood cell count, and inflammatory markers like C-reactive protein, CRP, and erythrocyte sedimentation rate, ESR. Understanding these tests is crucial for accurate interpretation and clinical decisions. In this section, we will compare and contrast acute and chronic mesenteric lymphadenitis. Acute mesenteric lymphadenitis is a sudden inflammation caused by infection, with symptoms like abdominal pain. Chronic mesenteric lymphadenitis lasts longer than six weeks and may have milder symptoms. Differentiating between these forms is crucial for proper treatment and to anticipate complications. Now, let's discuss the possible complications that may arise from mesenteric lymphadenitis and the long-term outlook for affected individuals. While mesenteric lymphadenitis is generally a self-limiting condition, complications can occur, especially in severe or untreated cases. These complications may include abscess formation within the mesentery, bowel obstruction, or even sepsis. Prompt recognition and appropriate management are crucial to prevent these complications and ensure favorable outcomes. Understanding the possible prognosis and long-term implications of mesenteric lymphadenitis will aid in patient counseling and follow-up care. In the section on treating mesenteric lymphadenitis, we will discuss the various options available based on symptoms and complications. Treatment usually involves pain control and observation, with antibiotics and supportive care considered in certain cases for optimal outcomes. In some severe or complicated cases of mesenteric lymphadenitis, surgery may be necessary. This is when conservative treatment fails, complications arise, or non-inflammatory causes are suspected. Surgical options vary depending on the severity and cause, such as abscess drainage or bowel resection. Understanding these options is important for optimal patient care. Shifting our focus, let us investigate the relationship between mesenteric lymphadenitis and other gastrointestinal disorders. Several gastrointestinal conditions, such as Crohn's disease or mesenteric ischemia, can exhibit overlapping clinical features with mesenteric lymphadenitis. 
It is essential for healthcare professionals to be aware of these associations to ensure accurate diagnosis and appropriate management. Recognizing the connections between mesenteric lymphadenitis and other gastrointestinal disorders will aid in considering comprehensive differential diagnoses and conducting further investigations or interventions as necessary. In the last part of our lecture, we will discuss recent advancements in understanding and treating mesenteric lymphadenitis. Ongoing research aims to improve diagnosis, develop specific therapies, and uncover the causes and prevention methods for this condition. Being aware of these developments will enable healthcare providers to offer the best care to their patients. To conclude, mesenteric lymphadenitis is a complex condition that demands a thorough understanding. By examining its anatomy, pathogenesis, presentation, diagnosis, treatment, and associations, we are better prepared to manage it effectively. Staying updated on research will further improve patient care. Thank you for joining me in exploring mesenteric lymphadenitis.